This is my barn workshop in rural Maine. As you can see, I have both solar panels and solar collectors. The collectors here are four 4x8 four foot collectors that heat the radiant floor inside the building and can heat the building down to about freezing. That's augmented by propane and a wood stove. The 3.7 kilowatt solar array powers about 50% of our house, workshop, and two home businesses. Microinverters behind each panel produce 240 volts. Power from the solar panels on the roof enters through a safety disconnect and that energy from the roof is monitored and sent to the web for a real-time display of power. On the house I installed a solar domestic water heating system that consists of four small collectors and a solar voltaic panel to the left that powers the circulation pumps for that system. The rest of the equipment is down in the basement. Upstairs in the kitchen I designed and installed a small dashboard display that shows the collector temperature and the storage tank temperature. This helps us decide when to run dishwasher and clothes washer loads when the tank temperature is high enough. I drive an 06 Ford Escape Hybrid that gets about 33 miles to the gallon. My wife's 2001 Honda Insight still gets 55 miles to the gallon and has 100,000 miles on it. We're looking to replace that sometime soon. Perhaps my most unusual project is the solar lawnmower conversion that I did. This lawnmower uses a battery and a DC electric motor that is charged from solar panels. It's a conversion from an original Sears 22-inch lawnmower. It runs very quietly, it uses zero emissions, and is charged for free from the sun. It would be really cool if we could charge our Chevy Volt from our solar panels.